Sorry about that, you guys. Here we go. Go ahead and mute this. I apologize in advance. Um, the way the Xbox is now set up, I probably in order to make yards. you broadcast using Turn their right. Beam broadcaster, Twitch no longer now appears on my screen. So I can't see Turn any right. of the chat, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, so well played, Xbox. I'm trying to get you to use Beam. A horrible app, but doesn't even have a, a YouTube exporter. So yeah. In 200 yards. So the Turn last left. one was pretty much a test. Turn left. Uh, I didn't even know. Because Twitch doesn't even... I can't see it on my screen while I'm broadcasting. I didn't even know if Twitch Turn was on. Right. So I just kind of played a race just to test. It was on, but uh, my mic wasn't working correctly. So Turn hopefully right. we have all the bugs out. I have my laptop beside me, so if there's any chat that goes on, I can sort of monitor it. Uh, I won't be able to during a race, of course. But uh, yeah, in between, we can chat and say hello. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Playing some Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels DLC. This is a lot of fun. Uh, making my way to another race, trying to get enough medals to... Uh, I like the uh, animatronic dinosaur. Trying to get enough medals to uh, advance to the next level, I guess. In 400 yards, but it's getting tough. Right. Getting tougher. And uh, boy, those Sidewinder drift missions, I'm just not good at those at all. So there's a few of those left, but I don't right. want to do them because I'm not good at them. Alrighty, here we go. Dino right Breakout. I wanted to do this one also because it gives me a chance to use my favorite car. This one right here. My two million dollar car. <laughs> Unfortunately, because this is live and not edited, you have to uh, watch all these loading screens. Arctic Warlocks. What's going on, dude? You know, I always get you confused with Frozen Gamers because of your name. So it never occurs to me that you live... Uh, within relative driving distance. I always think you're up in Alaska. So, when I think Ohio, I definitely don't think of an Arctic Warlock. So, my apologies that we missed you this weekend. But, uh, yeah, we were uh, driving back from Mom's this weekend, and I realized when we were like a half hour out of Columbus, hey, we're a half hour out of Columbus. I didn't even look to see where the GPS, what path we were going to take. I just went and followed the GPS blindly. So, uh... I hopped on the, uh, or I had Sarah hop on the Discord channel, Married to the Games Discord channel, and, say, and uh, write a note as me. And then Sarah also dropped a line to uh, my cousin, Nikki. And uh, fortunately, we were able to see, Nikki was able to get together and uh, got to see her for about 20 minutes or so. We weren't uh, in the area for very long. But uh, yeah, it was a nice, nice time. Friday. Oh, the Spider Jedi. He always beats me. Whenever I do any event at all, it's always like, oh, but Spider Jedi did the best. So, doggone it, Spider Jedi. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go. I like this kind of race because it's a, as you can see, I'm 27% through, as opposed to, I, I don't really care for the lap race as much. It's because I like, uh, I like doing the same thing over and over. I'm gonna change it up like this. Whoa! Sorry, Wolverine. Let's rewind that a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, I um. Oh, thanks for uh, letting me know, Bush. Yeah, it's it's so funny just because the way the Xbox is now set up after the last update, uh, so ever since they installed Beam and got rid of snapping, uh, Twitch doesn't show. I can't see Twitch on my screen now when I'm broadcasting, so I don't see any chat. All I can see is the beam like indicator at the bottom that says I've been broadcasting for six minutes and there are three people watching. That's all the info I have. So I actually brought my laptop down this time so I could sort of monitor it, verify that you could hear me, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll stay good. But man, this is a ton of fun. I love this game! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Airborne pass, I got points on that. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I can see where that was going real fast. Wampa. Isn't a Wampa the thing that uh, sliced Luke's face in Empire Strikes Back? Is it a Wampa? I don't know. 
MTTG, oops. 71% done. Going after that ninja! Ninja Zim, is that what that is? I will see you guys! Ninja Zim! Oh no, oh no, oh, oh yes! This car is awesome, I love it, it's my favorite car for a reason! It cost me two million dollars for a reason! Two million credits. Sorry. I would hate for my wife to hear that. Like, it cost what? It's like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Let's do that again, because there's people too close to me, and I don't want to lose lose the race right here. Ugh. I'm not good at curves. I'm not good at curves, and I'm not good at drifting. Which is a shame that there are so many drift challenges. Because I am not going to get medals on those. That is for sure. Finish line. What? Please for the explanation, you're streaming without a PC or a mixer? Yeah, just through the Xbox One, just through the cheap headset that came with the Xbox. So, uh, yeah, nothing too fancy. I usually only use my mixer when I'm uh, recording more than one person, so we can uh, have, uh, we each get a mic input. Otherwise, I just uh, take my, my uh, when we podcast and stuff, into the uh, laptop itself directly. With the USB cable. Ah, oh, didn't get 89. The year I graduated. Alrighty, here we go. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have tried the Beam streaming thing that uh, Microsoft tries to push on you. It's horrible. Mostly because you can't uh, send it to Twitch or YouTube without having to like install backdoor programs and what have you. Let's see, alright. I like the S2 races just because I can use my favorite car, the one I just used. But let's see what's new. Oh, is that the Hor Thrill City Stunt Run? Sprint Race. Which one's that? I only got one medal on it. I need to get six more medals. Okay, there's a few more new... There's a, there's a new race. You can get at least one medal, right? So yeah, since I can't see the old Twitch stream on the screen, I'm just checking it on my laptop. Yards. And also, I realized when I tested it last time, I had the... Oops, sorry. When I talk, it's hard to hear the GPS lady. Or apparently pay attention to the blue line. Uh, I had the Kinect set to auto-zoom, and it worked fine for the first two minutes, and then it just focused on my neck. <laughs> so, I actually put pants on. Not that I didn't have pants on before, but I had shorts on, and it was just an awkward, awkward angle. So I put pants on, so it's still probably an awkward angle, but it's not as awkward as if I still had shorts on. Kind of got uh, flashbacks to friends and uh, Chandler and Joey. And who was dating the guy that wore the big basketball shorts? Who was dating? Was that Monica dating him? I don't remember. Alrighty. But man, I love this game. And you know what I realized? Um... I've got the season pass, and I never downloaded the Blizzard Mountain. So I'll have to play that as well. Alrighty, here we go. You Let's set this up. The destination. Wait, the T-Rex Tear-Up. I've done this one, right? That's. A oh, no, I guess not. Oh, the last one was Dino something. That's right. The angle would be more awkward without pants, so well done. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good at uh, no one awkward when I see it. So I said, no, sir. We won't be doing that. Alrighty, let's use this car. This one, I guess, uh, does okay for me. No, I'm paranoid about. Should I put a dog bed in front of it? Is it less awkward without a do with a dog bed here? <laughs> no, it just looks like I have issues. That's so weird. Let's look and see how that looks. Yeah, that. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Alrighty. Don't look down there. All right. <laughs> this just. I know awkward, and I'm drawn to it like a moth to the flame. Coffee. French press. Our coffee maker broke a couple weeks ago. And we have so many ways to make coffee, we didn't even bother buying a new coffee maker. <laughs> so, this is a French press. Sarah makes the French press in the uh, during the daytime. And in the morning, I make the Chemex. So, she's like... Like, can we have a deal? Because when she wakes up, she just doesn't feel like making coffee. She's like, if you make coffee in the morning, I'll make coffee in the afternoon and evening. And I said, all right. 
Uh, so usually I'll make coffee in the morning. And then she'll make one in the afternoon. But then besides that, if I want coffee, I'll just make some coffee. And then share. Hey, I'm in last place. I should stop uh, chatting about Kathy. Oh, Kyle sorry. Spider Jedi. The one who's too good. Oh, no. Let's <laughs> try that again. Greedo. Let's try it again twice. Okay, let's go a little bit further back. I always feel bad when I do that. I feel like I'm cheating. But I have to cheat in order to win. That's one thing I learned about sports. That's nah, right. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> <coughs> and we're back. Hot Wheels Air Charger 1. Ooh, ooh. Awesome speed. Thanks, man. Whoa, I'm upside down. Man, this is so much fun. I love this. Yep. That turned bad so quick. How about I just do the same thing twice in a row? I don't learn my lesson. What's the... There we go. Okay, Coach Hulk, come on, man. Help a brother out. What? What in the world? I don't know what I said, but all of a sudden it popped up and was like, Hey, can we help you set up your speech thing? And I was like, no. I'm playing a game. What did I say that... Stupid. Alright, this thing's turning radius is not... I have the, the, the joystick shoved all the way to the right. And I am barely... Man. I'm getting dizzy now. Okay, here we go. Oh good, 11th place. Man, why am I sweating in I'm in 11th place. It's pretty humid here. And uh, we have not installed any air conditioners yet. Uh, this is the first time in a long time... Eek, sorry, whoever that was, that uh, I lived somewhere that didn't have central air, and so I'm... I guess when Sarah and I first got married, our apartment didn't have central air. We just had to rely on good air conditioners. I hate relying on air conditioners, because I feel like bugs get in the house. I should probably clean the house. That might help as well. But uh, Because I can't see the chat on the screen, I don't know if people are responding or asking questions. And yet, I'm still just jabbering away like an idiot. So... It's good to know my active imagination hasn't diminished, even though I've physically grown past the age of eight. Oh, nice, thank you. Oh. Sheesh. Alright. Better than the last time. I think I had to restart t twice last time. I had to rewind, I guess, at least. Here we go. Man, 8th place. Man. This is too much work for 8th place. Eeps. Oh, I remember that part. Yep, yep, yep. That's where I always fly off. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. If there's something you guys want to see me do, uh, as far as like, oh, hey, I want to see this race, or I want to see this stunt, or something like that, just let me know. Just uh, write it in the comments. Oh my gosh. Struggling. And uh, I'll see if I can't find one to do. So I'm here for you guys. Unless it's one of those drifting things. I'm horrible at it. I can't do them. Uh, yeah. It's just no fun. Look at that. That was almost a nice drift. But that was on accident. I can't drift on purpose. Alrighty. What, what, the last time at this point was I in 11th place. So I'm going up three places each... Each lap, is that what we're doing here? And look at that ma mini map. I can't even see first place, people. They are way up there. Bit of dragons and retro geezers. Whoa, no blue. Where'd you come from? What's happened in the last race? I was gonna win first place, and all of a sudden, sink! I was like, whoa. Nice uh, slingshot rebound there, computer. 
Ugh. I'm scared. Oh no. Sheesh. That was craziness and a half. Whoa, where are you going, sir? Settle down. 40 ton gigabyte dragons. Ugh. I don't know if I don't think you can hear Sarah, but she is in the other room on one of her beach body coaching calls. Helping people across this great nation of ours. Oh yeah, we're recording the podcast tonight. Oh, I've got a few hours. I'm in an hour ahead of those guys, so I think we have a ten thirty call, which is eleven thirty for me, so it's alright. I'll be up. Alrighty. Sixth place. Sheesh. Man. Hot Wheels Air Target. Oh, I, I completed a Hot Wheels Air Target. I don't even know when that happened. Me, I'm upside down, you guys. Oh, no, poop. I got distracted by the fact that I was upside down. Just listened to the WTF episode with uh, Kevin Bacon while we were driving this past week. And uh, he was talking about <coughs> Apollo 13 and uh, their big vomit comet plane that they were filming in to make the anti-gravity scenes. I've listened to so many podcasts in the car. I must have listened to like eight episodes of Mark Marin. Totally caught up on Time Suck, Reply All, and I feel like there was one other one that I listened to. And I was going to listen to an audiobook. I was going to listen to uh, Ready Player One. But I'm like a third of the way through it, and I didn't want Sarah to have to be like, I have no idea what's going on, like to force her to listen to it, because she'd be in the car as well. So we mostly just listened to uh, audiobooks, or uh, podcasts, and then uh, shuffled the music on the iPod. Yep, I still use a big, one of those big, clunky video iPods. Love it. That thing takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Alright, I'll take fourth place. Alrighty, what's going on? I to see you get through that tar turn clean one time. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. Did you get? A, do you get a limit of rewinds? No. Um, you can rewind as many times as you want, but you can only rewind so far, if that makes sense. So like, I can try something, rewind, try something, rewind, and then I can hit rewind. It'll stop, and then hit it again and stop and go back. I think maybe six consecutive times. Does that make sense? But you can retry the same portion as many times as you want uh, going through here and to where you're, I'm answering all of your questions I'm at least enjoying the jibba jabba jibba jabba uh, wait, are, are you asking any questions? I would like to see you get through the turn clean one time yeah that didn't happen nope you're not going to see homie home make that turn that last one was a lot cleaner than the last oh yes that book is awesome I've heard good things about Ready Player One but haven't checked it out myself Making a movie of the book due out in March, so get it read, listened to before then. Yeah, uh, and I love that it's Spielberg who's doing it. I'm so stoked, so stoked about that. I didn't real. I think I did realize that. Idiot. That T.J. Miller is in it. Did I say Miller? T.J. Miller is in it. Who uh, is a comedian? He was in Cloverfield, and he's in uh, <clears throat> Silicon Valley. But what you may not know is that he auditioned for the role of Delson in Second Son. And I actually got to see his audition footage. And remember when we were talking about Awkward? That was weird. Yeah. I'm glad they picked Troy Baker. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, let's see, Deadpool. Um, Deadpool. Deadpool was cool. I'm not sure why you said Deadpool. Uh, I don't know. Was it something I said? I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, these curtains back here, we didn't put those up. They were there when we got moved in, and we've just been too lazy to buy new curtains. But we do realize and acknowledge that they are butt ugly, so don't judge me on that. Alrighty, um, let's see. We're not doing a, a drift zone one, because I can't. Look at all these drift ones I haven't done. Alright, here's a race. A stunt run. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's go do a stunt run, you guys. Hey man, no judgment on the curtains. He was in that movie. Oh, he was in Deadpool. That's right. He was the uh, the bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep left. 
That's right. Now I know why you said Deadpool. Sorry about that. Totally forgot about that. That was a funny movie. I did like that. In 400 yards, turn left. Give me the laugh. I'm on board. Turn All right. left. Chicano Rosen. Look at that. He's in the MTTG crew. Yeah. Thank you, Takano Rosen. It's a good man right there. It's a good man. Turn right. Oh my god. Okay, it's mad. You didn't see that, Takano. Don't tell anyone about it. Gosh. Oh my gosh. So see, I can rewind. And then hit rewind again. Uh, I can go and rewind as many times as I want, but uh, as I said before, I can only rewind so far, so I'll see how far back I can go. Yeah, you can get it. I didn't even try again, but I could have rewound, rewound fair there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And when I first um, started yards, playing the Hot Wheels yeah, stuff, I totally forgot about rewind, and then when I did remember, I couldn't remember how to do it, so all of my first races were horrible because I just had to live with my mediocrity. It was not good. What's up, animatronic dinosaur? Right. Saw Logan yesterday. Oops, sorry. Uh, haven't enjoyed a movie like I did Deadpool in a long time. Yeah, that was really good. Just saw Logan yesterday, and man, that ending hit me like a ton of bricks. I did not see it, I, but I've heard nothing but good stuff about it. I saw, I think, two X-Men films. And I think I saw Wolverine, the one where he, the final fight is in like a, a nuclear reactor. And I remember him running around it with his blades, cutting it up or something. That's the last thing I've seen, the Wolverine in it. Alrighty. Here we go. Sizzle and sand, stop running. They always ask you to set stuff up. I don't understand car settings. I got nothing to set up. Let's just go. Oh, I can pick my car, though. Um, you know what? The blue bomber's not very... Let's go with my favorite. My old favorite. The blue bomber, the turning radius, was killing me. Oh, I don't even remember those movies. I swear at a certain point, the Wolverine movies and X-Men movies kind of run together. Yeah, I know. And uh, it's kind of the same thing with the Avengers movies for me. Because it's one long, continuous story, it's almost kind of like a soap opera, and you have to watch them all in order to watch it, and I'm just like, nah, got no time to watch them all. But, um, they are fun when I do watch them. I enjoy them. I have a good time. But, uh, yeah. It's my favorite car. I gotta put my new $2 million car as a favorite. Alrighty, here we go. What are we doing? Turns galore? Great. I usually like to turn on the inside so I can use the other cars as protection. Thank you, Next Impact. Like that. He saved me. Oh, there's Chaufi up there. Another one of the MTTG crew. MTTG crew. Oh, no, look out. Grumpy Gas, you're going the wrong way. Sorry, sir. Grumpy Gas. Oh, there's freaking Stancil over there. Oh, man. Okay, the last time I raced and recorded, freaking Stancil beat me. I was way too upset to be beat by him. Which doesn't really make any sense, seeing as how the dude makes games. Why should I be surprised that he's good? Or his drive guitar is good. Freaking stencil, you better freaking get back. Let's try to jump over him. Go, 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 go. In the air pass. Oh! <laughs> oh, what? <coughs> Man. Oh, my allergy cough. Yeah, now that I'm so happy now that I've realized that I have allergies. It's so much nicer that I actually know what to do for medicine. I was taking Theraflu. <laughs> Took Claritin once, and within 20 minutes I felt better. I was like, oh, poop. Got allergies. I did not know that. Come on back here, Kaka Cuckoo. What's his name? Cuckoo Kachit. What is that? Coco. Oh, 668. Fame! All right, here we go. What you get for being with Satan? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, good. This one's not a lap one. Good. Cuckoo, if you push me over the edge. Oh, let's push him over the edge. Oh, no. Let's pay the price. Fight the demon. I can't see anything. Which way are we going? See ya. <laughs> oh, Sarah always makes fun of me for my faces that I make while I'm driving, and I feel like that would have gotten me made fun of. Whatever happened just there, I feel like my face still hurts from making a face. No! Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna turbo me right off the edge. Oh, no! Getting too close to the end to deal with mistakes right now. 91%. Oh, poop in a bucket. What happened there? Left a banana peel on the track. All right, let's go from there. Man, there is one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, draw lols. All righty. While they're doing the replay, let's scroll up and... Uh, I'll replay the chat here. Uh, Claritin D or whatever. Plus Nasonex, court you'll be money. The whole family here takes a Zyrtec in the morning for allergies. I imagine all the meds are basically the same. Yeah, when I was at... I went to the gas station and bought like one of those little... Like a pack of two for $18 or whatever it was. Um... <clears throat> And I was like, oh, crap, I feel a lot better. So I went into CVS, and I saw that they had all of the allergy medicine and the Claritin there. And then they had cards that you had for Claritin that you had to take up to the counter to the pharmacist to buy. And I thought, I don't know why you have to do it for this one and not this one, but this must mean it's a whole lot better. So I'll try this one. And it was, yeah, it was the Claritin D. The, I guess it's the antihistamine slash meth maker. Uh, and yeah, I am uh, sold on it. So yeah, in the morning, it's a 24-hour thing, and I can tell in the morning when I get up, I'm sniffly, I've got mucous membrane action going on, and I pop that little pill in 20 minutes, good to go. No more blowing my nose, just coughing. I can't shake the cough part. What are we doing, guys? <sighs> what are we doing? Ooh, S2. Rusty Reef Throwdown. Let's go do that. You know what, let's fast travel. I can afford it. I imagine all the meds are... Uh, Claritin meth? Who knew? <laughs> yeah, uh... What is it? That's why you have to show your ID when you buy it, is because you can use whatever is cl in the antihistamine to, uh, to make meth and stuff. So, yeah, you have to show them your ID, they scan it, make sure you haven't been, uh... up to shenanigans. Make sure you didn't buy 50 of them somewhere else. So, uh, yeah. This is my favorite car, if you've just joined us. I paid two million credits for it, and I'm very happy with my purchase. <laughs> I'm still not good, but I'm enjoying driving it around. It's basically what I did is I scanned through... I don't understand... I understand, like, shocks and handling and blah blah blah. I don't look at those numbers. I don't even care. I just look at speed. So I just scrolled through all the cars, found the one that had the highest speed. It was, I think this is, uh, rated a nine-something. And uh, I was like, yeah, that's what I want. Don't worry. Again, I have no the idea ocean, the what the other stats are. Standby. Haven't uh, sure you keep your windows up. tweaked it at all. Probably should. Video games? What? Speeding at night. Speeding at night. It's so dangerous because you're speeding. Okay, great speed target. Eight. Let's see how many I can get. Hey, settle down, that lawn guy. That lawn guy. That dude's advertising for his lawn service on his gamer tag. That's awesome. Hey, if it works, it works. I'm probably not gonna call him. Alright, here we go. Got a lawn guy. So here's a lawn story for you. As I'm in eleventh place. Sure, why not tell stories and not why would I want to concentrate on the game? Uh yeah, we're we're renting this place from my sister uh sister in law and her husband. So it's Sarah's sister and her husband, Nathan. Nathan's the one who, if you listen to the podcast, uh he he uh, comes over about once a week and we play Borderlands together, couch co-op, and just have a good time. And they come over, uh, when we lived in Pennsylvania, they came over every year for Christmas and just had, had fun. So yeah, we're renting this place from them. 
and they were like, hey, uh, the guy that lives across the street, nice guy, just a little weird. He can be really particular and picky. And I was like, ah, that's fine. And we weren't here a day, and boop, 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 here comes Ken, knocking on the door. And it was really nice. He wanted to introduce himself, welcome us to the neighborhood. The sense I got was he wanted to scope us out and see who we were. Uh, <clears throat> brought over a, a garbage schedule and a recycling schedule. It was very nice of him. But I could tell that uh, Ken had ulterior motives. So then, uh, uh, we don't have a lawnmower or anything, and because we're not going to be here for very long, we're, our, our plan is to be here about a year or so. Uh, we just don't want to. We don't want to buy one, just because we don't want to. Uh, when we move, we're not sure where we're going to go. So uh, we were like, "Oh yeah, we'll just call like a lawn guy, have him come take care of it, take care of our lawn." So uh, anyhow, that's a. I told you that to tell you this. So Ken uh, comes over a couple of days after the first come over, and he's like, he had a, uh, a, 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 it was like a, an elastic band in his hand. He's like, oh, hey, I found this in the street, and I didn't know if it was a bracelet your wife lost. And it was obviously something that had been in the street for a long time. And basically, Ken was looking for an excuse to come over and talk. Because he said, and I said, oh, thanks. And I took it from him, and I'm like, yeah, I'm throwing this away immediately. Thanks for your garbage bracelet that did not belong to my wife. Uh, and he said, well, hey, if you ever need uh, need anything, need to borrow anything, let me know. And I said, oh, great. Thank you, Ken. He said, if you ever need any tools, just let me know. I've got tools. I said, oh, yeah, that's very nice of you. I appreciate it. And then he said, you know, like our lawnmower? And Ken's one of these neighbor guys that has, like, the immaculate lawn. And I'm like, oh, that's why you came over, Ken, because our lawn is longer than an inch, and uh, you're concerned that, uh, yeah. So I was like, I just thought it was, the way he said it was hilarious. If you ever want to borrow anything, you know, like a lawnmower, well played, Ken. Uh, so yeah, so we called the lawn people, and they said, yep, we will come over. We'll get you on the schedule. I said, thank you. They came over. And, uh, and th I actually called them before Ken came over and, and passive-aggressively complained. And they actually came over then the next day, which was funny. So everything was fine. And uh, he said, well, yeah, we'll probably come over like once a week. I, I said, that's great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, and apparently what happened is he, uh, the guys, his, his mowing crew just thought it was a one-time mow. So they didn't come back the next week. And then I went to California, San Francisco, and while I was gone, I was like, oh, they're probably there. And I came back only to find that they hadn't uh, returned. Sheesh, what the heck? They hadn't come back. So when I came back, the lawn was long. It wasn't horrendous, it wasn't unsightly, but it definitely needed a mow. Uh, can you do a remote from Ken's front lawn? Please get Ken on the podcast tonight. Uh, yeah, so... Um, so, uh, uh, I got home, and Stacy or, or Nathan, that's Sarah's sister and brother-in-law, they said, oh, we got a call from Ken, and he was wanting to know if you were going to mow your lawn, because uh, he doesn't have any dandelions in his lawn, and he would hate for the ones in yours to pollinate his lawn. So I just thought that was really funny of Ken to call and narc on me. Uh, because he knows, because uh, Stacy and Nathan used to live here, so he still has their phone number and what have you. Uh, and what's really funny is that um, <clears throat> I had actually called again a couple days earlier, the lawn guy, let's do this one, and uh, said, oh, hey, can you come do the lawn again? And he's like, oh, I didn't realize they weren't coming, really sorry. And so again, the next day they were here. So I thought it was kind of funny, but at the same time, I wonder if Ken now thinks that he can tr he has such control that whatever he says, that next day it happens. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was really funny. I haven't seen Ken since then, but I kind of want to let him make some sort of remark of, oh yeah, I wouldn't want you to call and, and, and tell on me again, Ken. Just to let him know, hey, they're our friends, and uh, they're on our side. So that was funny. Uh, this story is amazing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm sure Ken said, well, and, and then Sarah and I left for a week and a half for the Zumba slash coffee tour, so um, I'm sure Ken has been suspicious about where our car has been. So he's keeping tabs, I'm sure. But it's just funny because uh, the neighbors that live right next to Ken, we're across the street, the ones that live right next to him. It's crazy. It's, a, it's like a dandelion farm there. So I was asking Sarah, I wonder if uh, old Ken made a complaint or called the local whatever. What are we doing here? I have no idea. <clears throat> it's a race, right? A race? Coach Hulk, Seatown, Bo Mannery, MTTG, another one of the MTTG crew. Thank you, Bo. We appreciate it. Spider Jedi and I are making out there. Okay, that's weird. All right. <clears throat> oh, no. See this thing coming up? This is horrible to drive on. It's super slick. I get no traction. I got to way slow down. No one else, look, no other one, no other cars have brake lights or anything on. And I am skidding like crazy. I can't get my traction going. And all these other robot nerds are just fine. Oh, look at that. Ah, never mind. Ouch. I just hit that wall for no reason at all. Sorry, Bo. Sorry. Sheesh. Oh, good. It's a lap one. I get to do that two more times. Yeah. I was going to do, uh, go live and stream some, uh, LEGO Dimension Goonies Free Roam, but, uh, all of the LEGO people are upstairs, and I was too lazy to bring them down. Oh, I'll tell you that story of why all the, of why all of our LEGO Dimension folks are upstairs. Uh, Stacy and Nathan, the previously mentioned, I'm just going to go, brother, or sister and brother-in-law, uh, adopted two girls from Costa Rica. The youngest, I don't know, what, what is she, eight? She's a maniac. And um, they came over one night for game night, and uh, we had all of our LEGO Dimensions guys set up here. Not set up, but like in a container, um, just sitting here by the, uh, the TV. And I was like, you know what? Amy is a maniac. And she was drawn to the Lego people. And I thought, you know what? Let her play with them. That's fine. If it keeps the uh, mania to a minimum, that's totally fine. She can play with the Lego Dimensions guys. Just please don't take any of them home. Because I got to play that game. So um, a few days later, I happened to look down at all of the, the uh, Chuck Towski. Dude, Chuckus. Chuck used to hang out at the... Uh, coffee shop in Auburn where I met Sarah. Anyhow. <clears throat> oh no, they were, we kept the Legos in a box. That's right. It was just after we had moved. There we go. So, um, I glanced in the box and all of the Legos are... Let's just say none of them were uh, assembled anymore. And to make matters worse, I don't know how it is with uh, Amiibos, but each one has like a stand that is... Um, you know, you put this, the, uh, the Lego figure on the, uh, the game pad, the toy pad, and the stand that it's on has like a little chip on it and recognizes, oh, this is a Ghostbuster. So it knows what to do. Um, she had removed all of the stands from all of the people. And I wasn't even mad because I didn't have Legos as a kid. Way too expensive for us. Those things are expensive. Um, seventh place. <clears throat> So the first time I put together anything Lego was like when I got we got Lego Dimensions, and I love doing it. I love putting together Legos. And so I thought, you know what? I don't mind. I get to spend the rest of the night putting Legos together. And that's what I did. So I would take the pad by itself, put it on the toy pad, and be like, oh, yep, this is the Marshmallow Man. And then I'd have to go through, and I had to go, I, I had thrown away all of the uh, instruction manuals, so I just had to go on to uh, YouTube, and, uh, or no, it wasn't YouTube, I think I went to the, uh, a Lego Dimension website, and downloaded all of the uh, put-together manuals, and I uh, had that, did, did, that, did that for an evening, but you know what, again, I, I didn't mind, just because uh, I like doing jigsaw puzzles, I like doing puzzles, and uh, I like putting together Legos, and that is the Lego story. What a boring story to uh, be juxtaposed against an exciting race here. 
fifth place. I don't feel too bad about that. Easy, easy. Don't do it. Oh. No! Oh, I can't rewind. Darn it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Let's, uh... He's totally stalking him. Absolutely, car is probably buried under dandelions. Guy has too much time on his hands. He definitely has too much time on his hands. Uh, he doesn't even mow his lawn, uh, Ken. He makes his grandson do it. Uh, and I feel like he's here like twice a week. And after his grandson mows the lawn, he makes him take his mower into the street with a hose and clean the blades off. And I'm like, ah, oh, poor grandson. He must hate going over to Grandpa's. So, uh, yeah. Let's have a sip of coffee. 90! Yeah! Uh, tell you the truth, that you kind of killed my, my immersion when Mr. T came in to help Chunk. <laughs> yeah, um... <clears throat> you're displaying all the Lego creations? Your friend, Breadfan, has just started watching. Oh, look at that! There's Breadfan! Look at that, that was nice of him. Yeah, I, so I don't display all of the Lego guys anymore. Um, they're in a little box, and after I finish playing it, I put them all back in the box, take them upstairs to my office, and I shut the door. Um, but yeah, they are pretty cool to look at. Actually, I, the only one I'm displaying, not even displaying, up uh, upstairs in my office on my desk, I put up the, uh, the organ from the Goonies that uh, just, we just picked up. It's, a, it's really cool looking, and uh, I like the Goonies. I like Lego, and I thought, you know what, this thing looks so cool, I'm going to keep this out. So It is sitting on my desk. Okay, what are we doing here, you guys? Drifting? <laughs> no, we only need one metal. Alrighty, what is this? A speed zone. Can I do 140? You know what? I gotta get my special car. Wait, here's a new thing right here. High speed highway sprint race. All right, let's go there. Fast travel. Teaching hard work and humiliation. How big is that organ? Um, it's uh, uh, it's probably like this big. <clears throat> it doesn't uh. It, it, I, I bought online a little, uh, like a carrying case. Oh, Spider Jedi made his own version, huh? Well, um, and it kind of reminds me of the case we had as kids uh, that we kept our Star Wars, kind of like the uh, the Darth Vader shaped carrying case, except except it's just uh, rectangular. But um, the organ doesn't fit in it. It's too, it's too big. It's too big. But yeah, it's really cool looking. I think I posted a picture of it on my tweets. I don't remember. At Ed Placencia. <clears throat> Hear that in my voice? Man, it's a good thing I don't have to talk later on tonight. Wow, 9.45 already. Wait. Nope. I got two hours. The other guys only have an hour. Actually, they, you know. High-speed highway. Making love on the free love freeway. <clears throat> oh, Chris says use a Mustang. Oh, man. If I'd have seen that. This is my new favorite car, Chris. Because I, as I was explaining, I don't know anything about cars, so I just chose the fastest one. There were like eight stats on each car. I only, I only looked at speed. I did not look at handling. <clears throat> Obvioso. So uh, there's B-Dog. Oh, B-Dog is, uh, is that Braylon Jones? So many turns. Yikes. Yeah, rewinding that. 06 Saddy, Spider Jedi. That dude. It almost sickens me that every time I do any kind of event, it's like, hey, by the way, Spider Jedi has the record. Seriously, any event. I'm like, dude, first of all, he must have torn through this game because he's done it all. And secondly, he did it all really, really well. Yeah, it's not cool. Oh, it wouldn't let me rewind. I hate that it doesn't let you rewind like that because now... It starts you like this, and I'm super way behind. I say boo. And I hit the rewind button as soon as I started going over the edge. Cheaters. Whoa, but my two million dollar car says sorry and catches up with a couple of you. Great, great. I don't even know what kind of car this is. I have no idea. White and black. The car is black, but part of the car is white. 
together we learn to read. See, that time it let me do it. And rise. <laughs> I learned nothing from my mistakes. Ooh, let's go back a little further. Alrighty. Ooh, am I gonna go up that part of the track? That looks fun. Oh, I braked way too much. Sheesh! Now oh, we're going anyhow. Moving on! Alrighty, alrighty. Oh no, a sharp turn, sharp turn! Alrighty. Okay, I can see quite a cluster of cars up ahead of me, so at least I'm sort of close. Look at that. I've got four of my seven speed targets achieved! <laughs> oh, the noises I make! I'm just gonna run into the walls for a little bit here, if that's okay with you guys. 68%, let's go! Speed boost! Awesome speed! Thanks, man! Oh, look at that. <laughs> the computers had a little bumpy bump. Oh. Sorry. Made fun of the computers and... I <sighs> paid the karmic price. Let's try this again. What are you guys doing, by the way? You guys should be careful. Well, by be careful, I don't mean bump me. No. I could tell I was going over the edge. I could tell. I could just feel it in my bones. In my driving bones! Spider Jedi! Stop it! Stop it! Summer Cobra! Stop it! Stop it! Alright, here we go. 93%. Oh man. I'm only gonna get to see this. Too many shenanigans! Sheesh. No one else pass me, please, please, please! Sixth place, whatever. Use a Mustang, load as possible. I think it's a McLaren. Taking those turns like a madman. Alrighty. What was my car? Uh, McLaren. Wow, good call, bread fan. He does knows it. He does knows his cars. Uh, that sentence brought to you by Gollum. Alrighty. Oh, I think I just uh, leveled up. Let's do some stunts. I'll do some stunts in a Mustang for, for Chris. $150,000 credit reward. What is this? Hot Wheels Goliath event? Whoa, what's the skull at the end? A little nerviosis. And that's not even a word, I don't think. Okay. New events from the Hot Wheels people. I swear, even my horizon stopped. Look at these. All, look at all these new events now. Dude, there's a ton of stuff to do. And this is just DLC. All of this is DLC. None of it came with a regular game. It's like, this is like an entire game worth of events in DLC. That's where we're going, the Dino Leap Danger Sign. All right, first, let's go to the main base and uh, we'll get a Mustang for Chris. Oh, I beat Spider Jedi? Oh, nice. Thank you for pointing that out. All righty, so let's go through my cars here. I don't have a ton of money, so I can't buy anything new, I don't think, just because I spent it all on that car, my $2 million McLaren. Never heard of a McLaren before. Alrighty, let's go into my garage, my cars, and see what Mustangs I have. Um, and then we'll go do that. Oh, a lot of those stunts, it goes by distance, so I need to have... Oh, wait, it'd be under Ford, not Mustang. So uh, you have to have, like, a super fast car, but... Uh, okay, Ford... Horizon... Uh, focus. <laughs> you guys... Let's get this racing game, Forza, and drive a focus. Alrighty, an F-150 Raptor, a Ford Shelby. Ooh, I do like a Shelby. I don't know much about cars, but my friend had a Shelby, and it was nice. The XB Falcon, the Station Wagon. Look at that one. Holden. Oh, no, I don't have any Mustangs. Okay. Let's go to the auction house and see if they have any Mustangs for sale. we got to get one for Chris. Seeing this game for the first time reminds me of non-arcade Burnout Paradise. Oh, Burnout Paradise, that was a fun one. Okay, auction. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, that must be to sell. 
Let's find a hot deal. Uh, Acura, Aston Martin, Pagani, Ford, Falcon, Holden, Holden, Sandman, Ferrari. Can I uh, sort these by name? Lamborghini. Am I uh, voting? Am I bidding against actual people? Oh yeah, maybe. Because look at that. Look who's selling them. It's I think they're other players. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go back and uh, go to the auto show. Is where you can buy cars. View all. Let's find a car. And then Chris, you can tell me what Mustang I should get. Alrighty. Ford GT, a Focus, Raptor, Raptor, Shelby, Falcon, Falcon, Rockstar, Ranger. One edition, what is that? Ford Fiesta, Ford Shelby, Raptor, Ford, Fo boy, they loved pushing the Focuses, huh? Where are the Mustangs? Do I have, do I have to unlock the Mustangs? Fiesta, Mustang, look at that one. 25,000, oh, I can buy that one. It's only got a speed of five, though. See what else they got. I'm gonna buy the fastest Mustang. 5.7. I thought Mustangs were supposed to be fast and awesome, Chris. Oh, okay. I guess I'm getting. Uh, a must. That that's a pretty cool looking car, though. Look at your chat, Ed. Shelby is a Mustang. Oh, it is. Oh, well, poop in a bucket. I like driving that, too. Really? A Shelby is a Mustang? I had no idea. Then why isn't it, why isn't it a Ford Mustang? Why do they call it a Shelby? What? I'm so confused. Okay, let's go back and get the Mustang. I mean the Shelby. I mean... <laughs> yeah, it's... I hate that, um... With, uh... With this this n new uh, update that Xbox did, that uh, 7.4, there we go. I can't see the chat on the screen. I have to look at the laptop. So uh, there we go. Get in car. Okay, let's get in car. Another thing I like about this game is that you can crash all you want. Um, aesthetically, it gets scratches and bumps, but it doesn't, like, you can't kill the car. Or you have to buy a new one. And I love that. You can just drive and drive and drive and hit a tree and drive some more. What are we doing? Alrighty. Dino Leap Danger Sign. We gotta jump 650 feet. Can we do it in this? Yeah, man. Okay, it won't let you fast travel, so it must be a thing where you've gotta get speed up to it. Let's get speed up to it. Turn right. Alrighty. Here we go. Turn right. This handles differently, but so far so good. Two hundred yards. Turn right. Turn right. Like this. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know what though? When I let off the gas, it slows down a lot. It's yards. nice. It slows down Turn really right. nicely. For the other ones, I let off uh, on the gas, and it just kind of keeps going for a little bit. Keep for this right. one, it's almost like you step on the brakes, which is kind of nice. I like that. Good job. Oh, no. I'm going to break Chris's car. So really, this is a Ford? I don't know if you're correct on that. Yards. I'm going to question the car Turn expert. Left. Dino tail in the night. It's Turn a night. Left. Okay, I swear I had this joystick all the way to the left. And he did not yards. do anything. Turn sharp right. Alrighty. I kind of have to keep my right. eye on how close the um, the thing is. Okay, a mile and a half. Because you kind of want to have a lot of speed when you reach it. Turn so left. we'll see if this Shelby will give us the speed we need. Alrighty. I'm going to assume we're getting close, so I can't be... Alrighty. Looks like we're closing in on it. I'm in a speed zone, I think. 
One thing I do not like is the fact that with all the other cars that are driving around, you can be doing something like this and bump into one and totally uh, screw yourself over. Well, look at that. Got a new personal best in the old speed zone. Nice. I let off on the brake. I let off on the brake because I saw the red on the, the, uh, on the street. Red means uh, you should put it on the brakes. Yellow means let off on the gas. And blue means rock and roll. And so I braked because I thought I had a turn coming up, but it's actually the event, I think. Oh, turn no. around when it is safe to do so. Darn it. That's why they wanted me to, to brake. I had a turn back there I missed. An idiot. Idiot. Idiot! Alrighty. That's from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Here we go. Oh, 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 wait. There's the thing. I need to go back. I'll go... If I had gone from the direction that I came from, I wouldn't have had any speed, because I would have slowed down and take that corner. So let's go f start from back here. Get up a buttload of speed. How much speed do you want? Enough that's equal to a load of butt. Turn right, here we go. When it's just safe to do so. Maybe this is the speed we need. Alrighty. And you can always just rewind if you don't uh, rock and roll at it, which I will probably be do. You have arrived at your destination. What I need? Six hundred and fifty. Personal best. Hey, I got two. I'll take that. That's pretty good. I like it. Must have had water in the road and the hydroplane into that wall. There was nothing you could have done. <laughs> hey there, Hitman Alex 65. Alrighty, we did that one. Let's find another one to do. Another fun one. Alrighty, let's find another. I like those stunt things. The uh, jumps and what have yous. So, is that all the new stunts? The rest are all just races? Alrighty, let's find a race that's close. This is a speed zone. Where am I at now? Right here. Let's do a race. Let's do a race. All right. Um. Boy, a lot of these uh, speed trap, speed zone, a speed trap. I need to get my million dollar car to do because that gets me some good speed. Let's go here. Let's do this one. Fast travel. Here we go. Good job, sir. Thank you, sir. Boy, my throat is getting sore. I should probably take a break soon. For the podcast. Is this what I wanted? Yep, I haven't done it yet. What is this, a class S1? Oh, S2. I can use my favorite car, my $2 million car. <clears throat> Doing well, Alex. Thank you for uh, joining us here on the big adventure of racing and rewinding because I goof up. 61 minutes I've been on here. 61 minutes. Wow, I love the sound of my voice, huh? Gee whiz. Alrighty. Sweating like a Mike Tyson in a spelling bee. Rusty Reef Run. They always give you the, uh, the uh, you can tune the car before you race. I don't understand what any of that means, so I just yeah, go. I, <laughs> I just go, man. They just always start you right off to <clears throat> have the music turned all the way down. Just because the music's great, but when it gets exported to YouTube, YouTube says, hey, 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 hey. No, no, no enjoying of music here. Hundred and ninety six miles per hour. I take it. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I got no control. Oh, whoa, what happened there? Spider Jedi, you're going down next, sir. Oh, come on, Spider Jedi, give me a break. Come on, no. Why you gotta be so mean? Yikes, someone's going for a swim. 
Yeah, this is not that Shelby where you let off on the brake and you slow down. Or on the gas. You let off on the gas on this one. You keep going for a bit. Jeez, whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. The only thing is, on the blue track, you can't see the blue arrows. Kind of giving you a hint of what to do. Oh, I just got in the first place. This might be, if I finish first on this one, it's my last race. Because I'm totally going to end on a first place thing. You know it, ma'am. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I feel like I haven't blinked in 45 minutes. I'm not breaking. I should have. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Got three of four speed targets. We're only halfway done, you guys. I feel like I, I did this one before, but it was in a lap situation. I much prefer the have a good time one time and be on your way version. Man, this is so much fun. So much friggin' fun. Are you kidding me? I love this EA. Oh, I hear more cars. I don't like that. I hate hearing other cars approaching. It makes me so nervous. Dog on it. Dog on it. Dog on it. Someone behind me, but not Ugh. too terribly behind me. Oh, now he's gonna be. Luckily, I have my two million dollar car. <laughs> I love calling it my two million dollar car. You guys, I spent so much money on this. Nope. <laughs> that went bad real fast. Guy's catching up on me. I can't have that. Man, this thing. It's not turned as far as I want. my brain wants it to. Eighty-nine percent. Oh man! At least we don't have in this race one of those horrible slippery orange tube loop de loops. Ugh. Yeah, we're not gonna stop there. Oh, I hear cars. Oh no, oh no! Oh, <laughs> that's it. I'm done for the night. Oh man, look at that. My McLaren, my favorite car. Did I mention it cost me two million credits? Alright, that's gonna do it. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I have about, what is it, 10.06, an hour and a half before we record the Goliath event. I'm so